This is the part three of my CSS battle series. And in this video, we'll be solving the push button battle. This is the target here. This is what we have to achieve. And this is the result of what I am writing. And this is the place where I write my code. So let's get started in achieving the target. Uh, the first thing I want to do is to change the background of the body. No, that's not how to do it. So I have body and then for this background, I'm going to take this blue, which is this here. If I click it, it copies. And then here I can say background and I can paste it. Now I have the blue and um, what will be the next step? Uh, the next thing I want to do is to have this rectangle, which is from this corner to this corner to this corner to this corner. So I'm going to change this div here to a rectangle. I'll give it the width of 200 pixels or let's say 300 pixels. I think that's too much. I don't know yet, but for the height, I'll give the height 150 pixels. Then I'm going to position this at the center and I can position it at the center with margin auto, but that doesn't seem to work the way I expect. So I'm going to come here and add one div in this div i'll call this a class of container and then here i have another div and this div would be rectangle um then i'm going to delete this div then in this style here after the body i have the container and then this container is going to be width 100 percent height 100 percent and um, what this container is going to do, I'll have display flex, and then I'm going to position everything in the container to center. So I have justify items, center, align items, center. No, 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 not justify items, justify, justify content, yeah. And then this div, I'm going to remove this selector and add rectangle yeah now i have my rectangle at the center uh the rectangle has this blue background this dark blue which is this so i'll click on it to copy and then i can come here and replace this background with the copied color great we're moving forward <laughs> um the next thing i want to do is to get this cycle which is that yellow cycle so after this rectangle, I'm going to have div again, class, cycle, close it, and then I do like this. Then after this rectangle, I'm going to come here and have cycle, and in this cycle, I'll give it the width of, let's try 50 pixels first, height 50 pixels, and then border radius of 50%. Then I give it a background of this yellow. So I'm going to click on it to copy, then come here and I paste. Okay, I have that, but then it's not in the center. Hmm. Well, that means I would have to, hmm, how do I do this? Hmm. Okay, so maybe for the cycle, I'll give it a position of absolute. Great. By giving it a position of absolute, it automatically stays in the center. Okay. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is to get this other cycle, which is the cycle outside the yellow cycle. So the yellow cycle, I'll give this cycle small, which is SM. And I'll come here small. And then I have um, another div, which has a cycle of MD. Or instead of actually doing it like this, oh, no, no, I'm just going to do it like this. It's safer this way. So I have my div and then for my cycle MD, I have cycle MD. And then this cycle would have maybe a width of 100 pixels. Let's see. Height of 100 pixels. And it will have a background of. So since I'm going to be using this dark blue a lot i'll just come here to the body and add a css variable so i can call this dark blue and then i assign the dark blue color to this variable 
so I don't always have to be repeating myself. So now for this rectangle, I can say var, the var function, I can, and <laughs> sorry, and I can pass the dark blue variable. So I can come here to this cycle md and also pass the dark blue variable. So now if I come here and I change this dark blue to something else, let's say I put a one here, everything changes. If I put a three, everything changes. If I change this, oh wait, it's not even changing as much as I would like to. If I change this to seven, everything changes. Great. So that's the purpose of variables and I like using variables a lot. Then for this cycle MD, this is also going to be a border radius of 50%. And apparently 100 pixels is too small, so I'll make this 150. And I'm going to give this a position of absolute again. Now I don't know where exactly it is. <laughs> um, I think it's probably here, but because the... Wait, if I come here and I... Um, if I make this rectangle 20 pixels, see, we can see the cycle, but because the rectangle is at the back, it blends with the cycle MD. But I'm going to leave that for now. We have another cycle here again, which is this one outside the medium cycle. So I'll come here again and I have div class cycle, I'll call this cycle LG, which is cycle large. Then I'll come here dot cycle large this will have a width of let's say 300 pixels i'm not sure yet height of 300 pixels and then the background now since i'm using this light blue light blue background again i'm also going to create a variable for that so i'll come here and then i have light blue and i'm going to take this from here and paste here I'm going to bring this down. So for this background, I'm going to say var light blue. And then I can come here to this cycle LG and also say var light blue. And this will also have a border radius of 50%. And then I'm going to give it the position of absolute again. Okay. I think we're getting there. The only challenge now is that this light blue is covering these other colors, the yellow and the inner blue. So I'm going to put this cycle LG above cycle SM and I'm going to put cycle MD above cycle SM. And by changing the order there, then we get the, the element stacked just the way I want. Now one thing here is that this cycle LG seems too big and that's why the LGs are tiny the edges here are tiny but the edges here are bigger here so I'm going to reduce the width of cycle LG let's say I make this 250 Yeah I think that is it actually So now I can check I can by clicking on this slide and compare if I slide I can see that wow I've actually gotten the result already. And just to show that I've gotten the result, if I change this to 220, if I slide here, you can see that there is a difference between, this is this is the, the target, the target is on the right, what I'm doing is on the left. So you can see that the target on the right is different from what I have on the left. But by making this 250 pixels, now by sliding and comparing, you can see that everything, everything is correct. So now I can submit. And by submitting, I have a 100% match. If I check the solutions, where do I check the solutions again? Okay, my solutions. You see, we have a 100% match. Anyways, that's it for this chapter. Watch out for the next battle that we'll be fighting on this series.